So I thought we'd seen it all on this channel, but <clears throat> it turns out we haven't. Lee has got himself a caddying gig. He's supposed to be over here doing some filming, but I thought it was quite nice of us to offer his services to um, Felicity Johnson as they've got their three day team event going on and Lee is now going to be caddying for the next three days. Lee the tour caddy. How's he getting on then, Alan? Oh, he's doing a fantastic job. Is he? He hasn't put a foot wrong yet. <laughs> he hasn't done, done anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alan, thank you for coming on and having a chat with us. No problem. So, you're a full-time caddy? Basically, yeah. Yeah, work so at St Andrews. you work at St Andrews, but you come out here and do a bit of caddying out here. Yeah. yeah. Now, you're caddying for Trish today, Trish Johnson, yeah. who's in the team with Flick. And Lee is obviously on Flick's bag. Yeah. Any kind of advice that you might be able to give Lee, sort of leading up to this, uh, certainly certainly right now on the range, you know? Yeah, well basically just to keep the, the player comfortable, make sure all the clubs, the grips are, are dry, yeah. clean. Um, yeah, just get a couple of balls ready for them hitting drivers and stuff, so they're dry balls. A lot of the range balls are usually a little bit wet yeah. once they've been cleaned and stuff. Uh, but just, yeah, just stand there and wait wait to be asked to do something basically and and do you you know in some situations do you have to have a good chat with the, with the player and things like that or are you kind well, of let sometimes the sometimes you just let the player come to you yeah. you don't you don't impose yourself on the player okay. they've got their own routine they've been doing it for years yeah. you just stand there and wait yeah. you know wait but, for them to come to wait, you but it's nice to be switched on when they do come to you yeah. so you're waiting for them coming to you so you think what they're going to say to you and think yeah. hmm, okay i'll be ready for that when they ask yeah. as opposed to being half asleep and because you can, you can nod off quite easily when that happens. Well, he's had a busy week this week. You know, we've been out filming. He's come onto the bag, and um, this is his first tour event he's been to. Yeah. Um, he's only just turned pro, so he's quite new to the game in, in that side of things. So, um, yeah, he's probably going to be a bit tired anyway. So. Uh, well, he might be a little bit nervous as well. And the thing is, just to relax. You know, just you know, the, the players don't like to see their caddies nervous. We're we're there to make them as relaxed as possible. So if you if you if you show any kind of tension or nervousness, it feeds back onto them. So just be calm, enjoy it, have a laugh, just talk about anything, you know, and just and just uh, get on with it. See what happens. Right, Flick, are you ready Yo. for this? Uh, yeah. Are you I ready am. for Lee? I well, is he ready for what's about to hit him? Is what I want to know. Yeah. Um, three am three pros, one amateur. 18 holes. Yeah. We're going to have some fun, if nothing else. We're going to have a lot of fun out there. Yeah. Um, and it, generally, if you have some fun, your golf improves. So that's what we're going for. Enjoying it. Yeah. It's experience. Yeah, it's classic. Yeah, yeah it's really interesting. Flick's really nice. So, yeah. yeah, it's good. I'm really enjoying it. Alan looking after you. Yeah, is he's that my new best mate now. Is he? Yeah, he's yeah. my like best buds. So you're the amateur? Yes sir, I am. And you work for Aramco? I do, over in the eastern province in Dharan. How is Lee, the caddy, getting on? Lee's doing really well. Yeah? Yeah, he's, uh, he's giving everyone you know, all, the, all the encouragement he needs and uh, he's, uh, he's great at uh, mapping out the yardages for us and then kind of at the same time you know, he's able to sit there and say, you know, hey, you hit the ball like this, why don't you try this club and it's working out. Brilliant. Well, he's excelling. 
He actually is excelling. He's think. excelling. I can't believe this. This is yeah. The uh, team, the team, seven under through through ten. Yeah. We had a few chances that I could away from us, but other than that, uh, Lee's doing a wonderful job. But How many birdies shape? have you made as a tour caddy now? One in golf. It's really starting to three. Up in Arabia. Three. How did she get on? She like yeah, uh, three under. Three two maybe. Two under. I think she made a bogey. So. Yeah, like Peter's coming. Two or three. I'm keeping track of the score, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Amy, how's he getting on? First day out as a caddy. Yeah. yeah. Should yeah. first day as a caddy. This is it. <laughs> this is it. I don't know that. Yeah. So I wouldn't have ever known. That's how good I am. No, you're just a professional <laughs> caddy. So I've been lucky enough to do some caddying. I um I actually did some caddying for Laura when my wife Laura was going through her process of trying to get her tour car. We went and played on the Ladies European Tour and. It was an amazing experience. I've done quite a bit for my brother as well, PJ Cup. I've done Wentworth. Um, I did another um, European tour event recently. And it's, you know, all joking aside from what we're doing today with Lee, but it's a really, really important job. Ultimately, Lee obviously doesn't know Flick that well. So I can't imagine that he'll be massively involved in, let's say, the yardages. But what I would say is I have seen out here is Lee is using the rangefinder. I didn't realise that they could actually use rangefinders. Rangefinders normally wouldn't be allowed. The caddy would have their own yardage book, but ultimately pace of play is really important. Yardage books can be a little bit complicated to read on if you're not used to using them. So Lee has an important role and I think he's doing quite well. The feedback I'm getting from the players, the feedback I'm getting from the other caddies is positive. The feedback I'm getting from Ed, the amateur, really positive. Callum? Yep. How has Lee got on today out there? I'd say for the first time out caddy and he looked like he's done quite well. I mean, I'm pretty new to the game myself, Are but um, he, he was mentioning he's doing his PGA down in Devon at the moment. Yeah. So, you know, I'd say this is additional experience to him and done life on tour and he mentioned he's, he's a qualified club fitter. So he understands the game quite well and I think it's a great experience for him. And hopefully uh, he goes on to become one of the top PGA professionals in the UK. Well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? And what, so what are you doing then? You're just doing a bit of caddying or you part-time or what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I'm just doing this week, the last two weeks, I actually work and live in Dubai, um, but I've known Amy Bolden for quite a few years yeah. and, you know, I fancied a couple of weeks off and uh, she asked me if I'd caddy for her and here I am. Perfect, lovely. What a, what a week for it as well, mate. Yeah, it's fantastic. How, how has he got on today? Super caddy, you mean? Super caddy, is that what we call I mean, that's now? what he told me on the first oh, tee. Oh, that's what he's it called himself. named right. himself super caddy, okay. so <laughs> kind of had a lot to live up to on the first hole there. Yeah. Um, but actually did really well. Yeah. Um, I mean, didn't lose anything. I don't. I haven't looked yet. No, but not I think dropped any head covers. I was no. keeping an eye on that no, all the way around. Head all the head covers. Are all yeah. I think there's still 15 clubs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, no, still, pot. still 14 <laughs> clubs. Um, only gave me the head cover once, which yeah. any, every caddy does that at least once a what, day. Just gave you the head cover, not yeah, the yeah. club. Yeah, I'll take the pot, boys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I've got look, I mean, sometimes it might be better if he hits pots than me. Um, but no, did very well, I think. So norm, like a normal caddy, let's say, yep. you would th get them more involved with yardages and things like that, yardage books. Is that something that he could grow into or is it something you've kind of experimented with today? Um, I mean, this week we can use lasers, yes. so it's pretty good. So I always have a book, regardless of whoever's caddying for me, I always carry a book. Yeah. I always like to do my own numbers, um, pretty independent on the golf course. Um, very good when it comes to the wind, into off the right, yep, it's gonna hurt it a little bit. Um, so I think he printed it up pretty quick. Um, shot the laser very well, was very accurate with that. Um, not too many disagreements with numbers. So yeah, I mean, I ticked a lot of boxes today. And are you going to invite him back for tomorrow? I mean, if he's got nothing else to do tomorrow, I mean, Let's he's more than welcome to turn up again. It'd be great. I think he's probably going to be there, yeah. It's going to be an early start. It's an tomorrow. early, I mean, I don't want to think about what time that alarm is. I'm not but... sure I'm going to make that early start. <laughs> there's I'll no dedication here, it, is there? You know? <laughs> no dedication. Uh, but no, um, more than welcome to come back no, tomorrow. Like. More, Lovely. There you that go. Is Three day caddy. What, what a dream. <laughs> what an absolute dream. <laughs> Three days of carrying that golf bag in this heat, Lee. How yeah. have you got on? Uh, it's been actually fantastic. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Um, Flick's been superb. You know, initially I was just going to carry the bag for her to give her a bit of a break from dragging it. But to be fair to Flick, she, she got me involved. She was asking my opinion online, so whether she listened and just maybe felt a little bit sorry for me. But 
um, you know, she was she was picking clubs and she was saying 150 happy sort of thing. So I felt involved to a degree, but I was really there just to help flick out and, and sort of carry the bag. But also learning from Alan and Callum who were on the bag for Amy Bolden and Trish Johnson as well. Just seeing how much a caddy is actually involved. You don't really see a lot on telly. You do hear the odd conversation between player and caddy, but understanding how much they're involved in the players decisions is is massive and i've i've got a newfound respect for caddies dan because my feet are killing me <laughs> so one of the things that i kind of like about when we do our course vlogs is and 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 i know we get comments on this a lot is that ultimately we are mic'd up so we're playing golf amongst our friends we're competing but we're actually mic'd up when we're doing it which in a tour world it's not what we get. We don't get the players mic'd up. And even when they are mic'd up on TV, they don't really share exactly everything that's kind of going on in and amongst the group. But you've got to hear everything that's kind of gone on uh, inside the ropes. Yeah, and, the, and those conversations will stay within the boundaries of the ropes down, let's just say. Um, but you know, they, they, although they're in competition with themselves and it was a team event, the team event is kind of, they're not allowed to help each other. They're not allowed to, you know, you I'll go for it, you lay up. That's not an option because there is the individual side of it. But they have fun between themselves as well. And you can see like the little internal competitions that they sort of, they feel they have with each other at the same time as they want to win for their team. But it's, yeah, it's just been a fantastic week. And the, the players of the three girls that we played with have been fantastic. Is it something you could do long term? Do you think you could be an, a tour caddy, as in like... Not permanently, no, like no. my feet can't cope with that. But it's something that if I could, if I had the opportunity to learn like the yard, because I didn't have a yardage book, it wasn't what I was there for, but learn that kind of thing, that side of it, I'd certainly help out, you know, every once a couple, once a week, every now and then or whatever, if they were, the Felicity was short and I offered that to her, I said, if you're ever short, you know, just send me a message. But no, I couldn't do it full time, there's too much walking involved. And what's the biggest thing you learned from it? Uh, course management, course massive, management. massive, yeah. massive course management. Um, you know these, like these girls, they they are what I would say your average amateur male golfers distances, 157 i and 230, 240ish, with their drives. And I think a lot of amateurs could learn a lot from watching what the girls do to plot their way around the comp the, the course, than trying to bomb it. You know, I'm guilty of it. I'm not. You know, I. I I've watched the male do it and think I can do this. Sometimes it comes off, sometimes it doesn't. But if I plotted my way around the golf course like these girls do, I, I think my scores would come down a lot better because it's imperative they're in play. They want to hit fairways and they won't always take the risky shot. It's all about percentages with them. And Flick's had a good, decent week. She got off to a decent start. Yeah. Um, under par, sort of first round, level par, second round. Yeah. Could it have been better? Uh, yeah, I think Flick would be the first to admit she could have done better, but this heat is so draining. Um, you know, it was difficult for me to keep my concentration for 18 holes, and I'm not really, I'm not doing anything really. I was just carrying a bag and maybe helping a line pots up, but for her to play, what well, she played last week as well, so she's played five rounds of golf in this heat, like fair play to her. I couldn't keep my concentration that long. It's, it's difficult at 10 degrees back home. Well, I think this has been a fantastic experience for Lee. I think deep down he will have learned an awful lot from having the opportunity to be up close and personal with Flick and the other two players inside the ropes. I've done this a few times myself. I've caddied for my brother, I've caddied for Laura on the Ladies European Tour. So I've had an opportunity to see these guys play and plot the way around the golf course. This will be amazing for Lee, hopefully for his development in his game. We would like to say a huge thank you to Felicity Johnson for allowing us to sort of pair up with her and go through this process with her, get inside her thoughts on how she plays and plots her way around the golf course. And we will be bringing you a course management video from her as well. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel and you like what you're seeing from our videos, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And we'll see you all again very soon.